Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings ETI Airways Boeing 787 9 stress Dreamliner aircraft and their commemorative Manchester City Football Club livery scheme in a 1200 scale model. I pre ordered and purchased this model from Waffle Collectibles and their website address is www.wafflecollectibles.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular commemorative aircraft model, please allow me to share with you some information about the history of ETI Airways and how they actually came about as an airline carrier. ETI Airways is a golf carrier based airline that was actually established as the second flag carrier airline of the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, sometime in July 2003, by a royal decree that was issued by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nayyan and officially commenced operations on November 12, 2003 as ETI Airways is considered the national flag carrier airline for the country of the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. ETI Airways is currently the fourth largest operating airline in the Middle East after Emirates, Qatar Airways, and Saudi Airlines respectively, as well as the second largest operating airline in the UAE after Emirates, which is based in Dubai, whereas the global headquarters of ETI Airways is located in the Abu Dhabi city suburban area of Khalifa City, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located nearby on the grounds of Abu Dhabi International Airport, which is located approximately 19 miles east of the city center district section of Abu Dhabi City, which is also located in the Abu Dhabi city suburban area of Khalifa City. At the time of this video review posting, Etihad Airways currently flies to 81 passenger and cargo destinations across the Middle East, Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, and North America from their global hub at Abu Dhabi International Airport in Abu Dhabi with a mixed operating fleet of 83 aircraft that includes 39 Boeing 787s in which 30 of those are the Boeing 787-9s including this one you're looking at here and while the remaining 9 are the Boeing 787-10s. And in addition to the 83 aircraft that currently operates in the ETI fleet, the Gulf carrier also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 86 more aircraft, which includes 32 more Boeing 787s, in which 11 of those are the Boeing 787-9s, and the remaining 21 are the Boeing 787-10s. And those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also at the time of this video review posting, ETI Airways is currently one of 59 airlines in the world of aviation that currently operates as a certified four-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine. So, let's take a look at this box here, and what you see the front of it is the 1200 scale model, the Manchester City emblem, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the ETI uh, title, the aircraft type, as well as the registration ship number. I'm not going to go into detail about this box. It ain't really much on, on the back of it, okay? All right. Now you're looking at the uh, the actual mile stand that came with the model. In the bottom of the mile stand, you see the ETI titles, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information. Then you slide up here, you see that black pattern there, folks. The sole purpose of that black pattern is not only that this uh, black pattern protects your model, it also prevents from being damaged or scratched when and if you decide you want to put your aircraft on this particular model stand. All right, now you're looking at the commemorative card that actually came with the model. You see the ETI titles, the Manchester City uh, emblem, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the UAE flag decal, the aircraft type, as well as the registration ship number. Now I'm going to flip this card around and let you see some more information in regard to this aircraft. So I'm going to let you I'm going to turn it around right now. Now you're looking at the card that's on the other side of the commemorative card, and that's all the specification concerning this aircraft, as well as the Manchester City uh, emblem you see there. You can pause and read that information if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, okay? Now you're looking at this plastic bag. And what's inside this plastic bag are the actual gear replacement doors for this aircraft mount featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, okay? Alright, with all that information out of the way about the history of ETI Airways and how they actually came out as an airline carrier and still operating strongly as we speak at the time of this video review posting, plus all the little short details here on the front of this box, plus the community car that came with the model, plus the actual model stand, as well as the gear replacement doors, 
with no further ado everyone here is the actual model out of the packaging box check it out all right everyone there it is the JC Wings Etihad Airways Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft and their commemorative Manchester City Football Club livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. Alright, first, allow me to share with you some information about the Etihad Airways Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft and how it actually came a part of their fleet. Etihad Airways became the first Middle Eastern airline carrier as well as the fifth carrier overall after Air New Zealand, NA All Nippon Airways, Virgin Atlantic, and United Airlines, respectively, that acquired this prestigious state of the art aircraft as ETI Airways took delivery of its very first of 41 Boeing 787 9 stress Dreamliner aircraft that ETI Airways had placed orders for back on December 12, 2011, and received their very first Boeing 787 9 stress Dreamliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number. Alpha 6 Bravo Lima Alpha at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Bowen Delivery Center facility in Everett, Washington on December 31, 2014. Then made its actual debut on February 1, 2015 with its first inaugural flight when it flew from Abu Dhabi to Dusseldorf, Germany. Then was followed with its first inaugural flight on American soil when it flew from Abu Dhabi to Washington, Dulles on March 15, 2015 respectively replacing their Boeing 777-200LRs and their Airbus A340-500s that was previously utilized on these particular routes, as the Gulf carrier's entire fleet of Boeing 787-9s are currently based and operated exclusively out of their global hub at Abu Dhabi International Airport in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Etihad Airways has ordered a total of 41 Boeing 787-9 stress Dreamliners to add to their fleet. And at the time of this video review posting, 30 are currently operating in service, while the remaining 11 are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery, as this aircraft has since become the airline's official flagship jetliner for the Abu Dhabi-based carrier, as the Boeing 787-9 stress Dreamliner aircraft has officially become the aircraft that has ultimately replaced the carrier's entire fleet of Airbus A340-500s, as well as their entire fleet of Boeing 777-200LRs, which was officially withdrawn from the ETI fleet in 2017 and 2018 respectively, as ETI Airways expects all 41 of their Boeing 787 9 stress Dreamliners to be fully operating their fleet by the end of 2023. All right, now let's talk about the specially painted commemorative livery scheme you see on this aircraft. The specially convenient... The, sorry about that. The specially painted commemorative livery scheme that's actually painted on this particular Etihad Airways Boeing 787 9 stress Dreamliner aircraft is actually called the Commemorative Manchester City Football Club livery scheme. And prior to this particular aircraft being delivered to Etihad Airways on October 18, 2019, Etihad Airways decided to unveil this commemorative livery scheme on this aircraft two days earlier on October 16, 2019 after the specially commemorative paintwork design on this particular aircraft was actually performed at the Boeing 787 plant facility in North Charleston, South Carolina. The commemorative Manchester City Football Club livery scheme is also a commemoration of the prestigious partnership that's developed between Manchester City Football Club and Etihad Airways, which was officially formed sometime in May 2009 as well as launching its second non-stop flight service to Manchester, England, which took place four days later on October 22, 2019, as this special commemorative livery scheme was actually painted on the Gulf Carrier's 30th Boeing 787-9 stress Dreamliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number Alpha 6-Bravo November uh, Delta, as this particular aircraft is actually the second aircraft in ETI's fleet after the Blue Moon Rise in Manchester City Theme Airbus A330 200 jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number Alpha 6 Echo Yankee Echo, that was unveiled eight years earlier in July 2011, was also a commemoration homage to the Manchester City Football Club, as this specialized commemorative livery scheme also happens to be a true testament of ETI Airways celebrating the achievements of the Manchester City Football Club with fans and customers alike from around the world as ETI Airways continues to be the official airline sponsor of this prestigious football club at the time of this video review posting. So, with all that information out of the way about this nice looking aircraft as well as this commitment to livery scheme which I find very impressive, with no further ado everyone, let's get down to the nitty gritty and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft mount, shall we? Let's check it out.
All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side. We're going to start at the front as always, where you see the front nose landing gear, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship, on, ship number on there, November Delta. And you see the Peter tubes and static ports right there somewhere in there somewhere. See the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those uh, details later on in my review. But right beside the L1 entrance door is the actual UAE flag decal, which is this decal you're looking at right there. And this flag decal represents the country where Etihad Airways currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline of the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. And then you're looking at the Etihad inscripted right in Arabic, which is this right here. And Etihad is actually pronounced Al Etihad in the Arabic language. Okay. And then you're looking at the Etihad title right here. The word Etihad derives from the Arabic word, which literally means union, united, or unity. Okay. And then you're looking at the um, decal next to the Manchester City title right here. Yeah, right here. This is the actual decal of the Manchester City Football Club, which is actually a rounded badge that features a shield, a particular ship called a Lancashire, Lancashire, Lancashire Rose, as well as the full name of the football club, Manchester City. That's also displayed inside the rounded badge, as well as this particular decal is actually the eighth decal in the Manchester City Football Club's history since this football club was founded in 1894. As this particular decal can also be visibly seen on the engine columns as well as you can see right there. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft and underneath the wings, you're looking at the side visual view of the landing bogey gears here, which includes the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. But more important, you see these nice looking massive engines there. And these are the General Electric Gen X-1B turbofan type engines that are actually used on this particular Etihad Airways Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft. Now we're going to turn this aircraft model around. We're going to actually see if the turbofan blades do spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port slash left side of the aircraft where you see the engine strikes there. Now we're going to see if the turbo fan blades actually spin, so let's check it out. Oh, perfect. Yes, they do. On point there. Then you see the inboard landing light right there, as well as the front visual view of the landing gears here, which includes the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the uh, front of the engines here on the starboard slash right side of the aircraft featuring the engine strikes right there. And then let's see if the fan blade spin over here as well. Oh, yeah, perfect. On point there. Then you see the inboard landing light right there, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears here on this side of the aircraft, which includes the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you see the Polyscape hatch door. I'll give you a better visual view of that later on. You see the uh, partial registration ship number right there, the D, uh, a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the radon nose cone, the, the front nose landing gear doors, the landing gear lights inside of the landing gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears, okay? All right. Now looking at the uh, rake wingtip on the side of the aircraft, see a major flaw right there. You see this little dented right there. Ouch. Wow. But... It is what it is. But then you see the uh, the red navigation light you see right there on the edge of the rake wingtip. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side. And what you're looking at is the uh, the website address of Etihad Airways, which is this right here. And that is the website address of Etihad Airways, okay? You need to book your flight, you go to that website address, okay? And then you slide over here. This, you see this little door right there? That is the uh, AFT boat bin door right there where they put excess uh, baggage and cargo at right there. And then you slide up here. You see the aircraft registration ship number Alpha 6 that's Bravo November Delta. Registration ship number Alpha 6 that's Bravo November Delta. This particular aircraft is actually the 30th Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft that officially entered the ETI fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on October 3rd, 2019 and was delivered to Etihad Airways on October 18, 2019. This aircraft was also the only aircraft in Etihad's fleet that was actually painted 
in the commemorative Manchester City Football Club livery scheme, which was unveiled two days earlier on October 16, 2019. All right, now you're looking at the tail fin of the aircraft as well as the colors and the angler pattern that's displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft here. And a typical Etihad Airways aircraft usually sports the colors of brown, the gold, the gray, and the white, which reflects the heritage, the culture, the geography, and the landscape of the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. However, on this particular Etihad Airways jetliner aircraft, it sports the actual colors of the white, blue, and sky blue, which actually reflects the colors of the Manchester City Football Club, while the anger patterns actually reflects the geometric scope of Abu Dhabi's architecture, okay? All right, we're at the back of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the APU, which literally stands for Zero Rare Power Unit Exhaust Hole, and there is an actual hole there, folks. There, and then you see the strobe light right there, right to, next to the APU exhaust hole, as well as the horizontal stabilizer, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check it out. There it is. Awesome. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard slash right side where you see the front nose landing gear, the landing gear struts, the, the landing gear door, the partial registration ship number, the Peter tube and static port somewhere in there somewhere, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the UAE flag decal, the Arabic and scripted writing for Etihad Airways, which literally means is pronounced as Al Etihad in the Arabic language, the Etihad title, as well as the front cargo container loading door. All right, now you're looking at the center aircraft here on the starboard side, where you see the Manchester City title, the uh, the, the Manchester City uh, decal right there, as well as on the engine column, as well as the. Um, General Electric Gen X dash one B turbofan type engines you see right here, nice little sawtooth pattern right there, the engine cones, as well as the um, side vision view of the landing bogey gears, which include the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the uh, rate curve wingtips here on the side of the aircraft. Uh, another fatal flaw there, as well as the green navigation light you see right next to this uh, rate wingtip device. All right, now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft here on the starboard side, which includes the ETI website address, the rear cargo container loading door, the registration ship number, as well as the actual uh, colors that represents the Manchester City Football Club, as well as the angler patterns, which literally uh, flex the geometric scope of Abu Dhabi's architect you see displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft. All right. Before I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gear. So let's check it out. It rolls pretty good. All right. It does tilt. And the front nose gear actually swivels as well, as you can see there. Yeah, it swivels a little bit. It's a little challenging, though, but it's okay. So with that said, let's check out the aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft model from the area of bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front as always, where you see the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the partial registration ship number that sits above the cockpit windows, the D. Then you see the Polyscape hatch door. Then you come up this way, we see the anti-collision beacon light, uh, a high-frequency antenna. You see the e tiles on both sides, as well as the Arabic and scripted writing. Then you see the satellite communications antenna. And you see the ADF antenna in 3D. You see the Manchester City titles on both sides. Yeah, and there's another uh, uh, sat saddle. That's another um, Wi-Fi antenna. A couple more high-frequency antennas, as well as the tail fin of the aircraft, as well as the horizontal stabilizers. Feature little dots right there, as well as there as well. Those little dots on the horizontal stabilizer are actually called illuminator lights. And the sole purpose of these illuminator lights is that it actually light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings and the engines from above. See the engines right there, as well as the top of the wings right there. No walk, wing walkway, but you got the no-step warning information, as well as the flaps, slats, ailerons, sporters, what have you. Fuel dump valve, 
as well as the rape wingtip device on the side of this aircraft. Now let's check out over here. See the engines right there. The top of the wings, no wing walkway, but you got the no-step warning information displayed on the top of the wings, as well as the flap, slats, aileron, spores, what have you. Fuel dump valve, as well as the top of the wing tip on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you look at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model. We're going to start at the front as always as well. See the radon nose cone. You see the crew escape hatch door. The front nose landing gear door as well as the front nose landing gear. And then you slide up this way. You see the ETI uh, billboard tiles right there including the red navigation light you see displayed there. The hole where the stand goes in at. A high freaks antenna. No APU housing door. Hmm. Okay. There's the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears. Oh, they tilt. Okay. See the engines there and the wings underneath, which includes the flap, slats, aileron spores, what have you. The registration ship number, fuel dump valve, as well as the uh, curve rake wing tip underneath as well. Now let's check out the um, gears over here. Okay. Tilt there. See the engines there as well as the wings underneath, which includes the flap, slats, aileron, spores, what have you. Fuel dump valve, as well as the right wing tip underneath as well. All right, since I show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in detail. Now I'm going to put it on that nice looking model stand you see there that I showed you earlier. So no further ado, here is the actual aircraft model on the stand. Check it out. All right, fine got this model on the stand. No problem, no hesitation. As you see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position. I'm going to allow this model to rotate in a clockwise rotation, starting with the port side, then you're going to see it from the tail cam angle, then the starboard side, then the front of the aircraft, and then back to the port side. Check it out. All right, before I take this model off the stand, I got it at this angle for a reason. And the reason is, is the actual magnetic gears that came with the model. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off, starting with the front nose landing gear. You see there, that's magnetic. The gears here on the port side, that's magnetic as well. As well as the magnetic gears here on the starboard side. There, okay? So, I'm going to uh, let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode position. Check it out. All right. Now you see this model displayed in flight mode position without the gears in the gears up position. Now, you got one or two options how you want to display your model from this point on. If you want to continue to display your model like this in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears, that's great. You see these gear replacement doors inside this plastic bag that I showed you earlier. That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors. So you substitute your gears while you display your model like this in flight mode slash gears up position. All you can do, I can do, put in a gear down position with the gears on there. Gears down, gears up, your choice. I choose to leave mine on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model off the stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model review. Okay? All right. Let's talk about the seating configuration. Etihad Airways has two configurated cabin layout versions that they actually use on their Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft. However, on this particular Etihad Airways Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft, it sees 299 passengers in a two-class configurated cabin layout. All right, everyone. Here's the breakdown from rows 5 to 11, which will be from 
here to right here. You have 28 Pearl Business Class flatbed seats and rows 15 to 45, which will be about from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 271 Coral Economy Class seats, which range a total of 299 seats. And finally, Etihad Airways currently utilizes this aircraft or had previously utilized this aircraft, the Boeing 787 9 Streamliner aircraft, from its global hub at Abu Dhabi International Airport in Abu Dhabi to worldwide destinations such as Amman, Jordan, Amsterdam, Schiphol, Athens, Greece, Bahrain, Bangalore, India, Bangkok, Suvarna, Bumi, Barcelona, Spain, Beijing, capital, Beirut, Lebanon, Brisbane, Australia, Brussels, Belgium, Cairo, Egypt, Casablanca, Morocco, Chengdu, China, Chicago, O'Hare, Colombo, Sri Lanka, Delhi, India, Doha, Qatar, Dublin, Ireland, Dusseldorf, Germany, Frankfurt, Germany, Geneva, Switzerland, Hong Kong, Hyderabad, India, Istanbul, Turkey, Jakarta, Indonesia, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Johannesburg, South Africa, Karachi, Pakistan, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Kochi, India, Lagos, Nigeria, London, Heathrow, Madrid, Spain, Manchester, England, Melbourne, Australia, Milan, Malpensa, Moscow, Dumas, Dedevo, Mumbai, India, Munich, Germany, New York, JFK, Manila, Philippines, Nagoya, Japan, via Beijing capital, Perth, Australia, Phuket, Thailand, Rabat, Morocco, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Rome, Fumicino, Shanghai, Pudong, Singapore, Changi, Sydney, Australia, Tel Aviv, Israel, Nice, France, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Tokyo, Narita, Washington, Dulles, Zurich, Switzerland, Malay, Maldives, and Vienna, Australia. Those are the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it, if you can find it and get your hands on it. Your only outside chance of getting this model, if you can find it there at this point, is on eBay because this model sold out pretty quickly. So with that said, I highly recommend it. If you can get your hands on it, please do so. So with that being said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.